So today was a pretty productive day. Managed to finish this guy up. I got the base done and everything. Uh, finished all the highlighting and shading. And I'm pretty pumped with how he came out. He's got a bunch of bruising and gross stuff going on on his back. And then a pretty simple base. And then I also have a um, hag that I'm starting up for the fishermen in Guild Ball. Uh, this is just some basic colors put down with the airbrush uh, to give some shadows and definition and see where I want the blue colors to play. Uh, and also, I started um, Catalyst with green on the skin. And I kind of like how it came out. I'm going to try now with her to have this light blue. Um, I'm going to want it to come through the skin tone a little bit. Maybe make her look colder or a little bit older with uh, than, than the model suggests. So I don't know. We'll try on that. Um, also did up some bases. This down here. I'm going to try and paint like a fish or something in here. And this is going to be where the hag is. This is one of the those depressed bases, so there'll be some water effects in there uh, once she's glued in there. And then the rest of these uh, these broken up hex ones, those are for um, my retribution army. And I got some of these under the airbrush for some base coats too. I'm um, using a green for the mage hunter um, division of retribution. And then I also tied it in with a little bit, it's kind of tough to see on some of these, but like on this one, there's a coal black going on on the, um, on the cloth part in the middle there, the loincloth, and there's the green going around the rest of it. Uh, what I'm going to try and do is keep the cloth parts that coal black color, uh, because that is what most of my retribution color scheme is based on. So we're going to try and use that to tie everything together. This one's going to be cool to paint. I think this is probably my favorite one, even besides the one that looks like Eris. Um, yeah, and I just kind of put her on this thing for now because I want to still be able to get a little bit underneath with the paint um, just so that there's no glaring blank spot of paint once it's done and then I also started him up with some basic colors uh, the sword is going to obviously be like a super uh, bright white and blue for the cold uh, I'm gonna try and get some of that to like reflect off of his leg here and maybe some of the armor up here uh, but for the most part, this is the basic colors for my Retribution Army. Uh, this coal black is a great base, and then I've got glowing colors, depending on what they're doing. Uh, house Fire is orange. The Magical uh, House Shail stuff is purple. Um, the basic Retribution stuff is like a that glowy arcane blue. And... The mage hunters have a green glow, and that glow typically goes in all the gems or all the armor cracks or like all the weird filigree on the skirts and robes like that. And that's basically it. That's what I was managing to do today on my day off, so that's not too bad. I assembled most of this stuff and put it together and then uh, primed it and then put the base color. So now... When I do get the itch to paint, I can just pick one of these up. Although it'll probably be this one first, because I got a client waiting on that one. All right, well, that's it for now. Um, all of the paintbrushing stuff, I'm using uh, Vallejo paints from my giant Vallejo game color set. Uh, this green here is a dark green. Um, the only one that's not a Vallejo color is this here. And this is actually coal black that I just uh, thinned with airbrush thinner. I'm not really happy with the consistency that I get, but I'm still kind of figuring that out as I go along. Uh, anyways, that'll be it for now. Um, next time, hopefully, we'll have some more work done on her. And maybe some little bits and pieces on the rest of them.
See you later.